Hey everybody, it's Marshall Monkey here. This game is my Star Wars The Force Awakens movie review. A lot of stuff to talk, to talk about. Um, I'm going to give my general review first of what I thought of the whole film. Um, this is a really great film, and I know I say that a lot with movies because I'm a movie fanatic. I always say, this is a good film, this is a good film. But generally, this was a really great movie because there's so many things that they did to utilize. Like, they, there's so many things that they did to um, make this a really great film, and they util utilized all that and, and just used it... Um, for the film, uh, because of, you know, many reasons, you know, it's, it's Star Wars, so they have many opportunities that they used, and they just put them towards their advantage and made it a really good film. So I'm going to talk about that, then I'm going to talk about my highlights and my favorite scenes, um, so we're going to get into all that, so let's get started. Okay, so chances are, if you were a Star Wars fan, you saw this, either Thursday premieres that were around, you know, in the States, or you saw it on a Friday night because, you know, maybe you were busy on Thursday. I didn't know about my movie theater doing a Thursday premiere. I would have went on Thursday and posted, like, a video of Star Wars The Force Awakens on Friday yesterday. But I didn't know about it. So I saw it Friday, but it was generally just, just as packed because there were so many people. And the reason why I think that Star Wars is going to bring in a lot of money is not because of just all, because of just, oh, Star Wars fans, so they're going to go see this. No, I think that they're going to see this not because they're Star Wars, well, they are going to see it because they're Star Wars fans, but not just because of it. I think that it's a really big family affair, it's a really big family film, so I think that that's why it's going to also bring in a lot of money. Because chances are, if you have a family... The oldest people in your family, which are parents, grandparents, are going to, you know, reminisce and, I can't even talk, reminisce and have memories of the original trilogy. But not only that, but with teenagers, they're going to remember the story that they've seen, you know, with me or, you know, other teenagers that weren't really there for the original trilogy, but still have seen it. It's going to be good for them because they have a new story, and they're going to just lock onto that. And for kids, it's just going to be for kids. You know, it's Star Wars. What kid doesn't, you know, get into Star Wars? So I feel like it's good for the whole family, and, you know, I think that that's a good thing because everybody has grown up with this trilogy or is going to grow, or grow up with the new Star Wars films that they're going to probably be doing. So I think that's a good thing. You know, they're growing up with this, and it's just moving on. And everyone loves Star Wars because of that, because they've grown up with the movies, and now they're just going to keep going. It's going to go on and on and on, and that's what makes it a good thing, because everybody's going to go see them, because it's a big family thing. And I think that's what also is going to help bring in money for Star Wars, because it's just not only because of big Star Wars fans, which is the big part of it, but it's also because of family are seeing it because they've grown up with these movies and they want to keep going on with that. They, they want to go on with that tradition. It's a really good family thing because it's it's Star Wars. And I think that a lot of families can get into that. So I think that the world is just going to eat up this movie because, because of that factor that it's for families because, you know, older people have grown up with the original trilogy. Then there was the, you know, the prequel series, you know, with the... Um, one, two, and three for teens, and then you know now we're moving on to younger audiences to grow up with this with this you know universe. So I think that's a really good thing about they're doing that. Now, another reason you know I think that it was really great is because of the memory you know of these older people, parents, grandparents that have seen these things because they just bring in so much. I think the first part of the movie you'll see these new characters. You'll see Ray um, and Finn and um, uh, Luke or no, not Luke. It's Ray, Finn, and um, Poe, oh my gosh, and Kylo Ren, and by the way, spoilers, if you have not seen this movie, I should have said that in the beginning, but you're going to see all these, um, you know, characters, you know, Rey, Finn, and, and Poe, and you're going to, you know, um, lock onto that, you're going to, you know, find out about these new characters, how they're developing these characters for future films, and future, you know, possibilities that's going to go on for these characters, um, which is a good thing, but then, in the next parts of the movie, you know, farther on into the movie, you know, you're going to have, um, you're going to have grandparents, and you're going to have, uh, you know, parents who are going to have memories of the original trilogy, because there's there's Han Solo, and there's there's Leia, and there's C-3PO, and there is, you know, R2-D2. There's Luke Skywalker at the end, but there really wasn't that, it was, it was a huge ending, there really wasn't any, you know, lines there, but, you know, it's still a big thing, it's still a big part of it, and there's so many things going on that... You know, you're going to have all these things going on, and it's just, they're going to have, they're going to trigger it. They're going to trigger the memories of the original trilogy, and it's going to be a big thing. So that's another reason why it's going to be big, that this film was a huge thing, because it has so many memories for parents and grandparents that grew up with this, this trilogy, which I think was really cool. So I'm excited for, you know, future films for more of that, because I think that this movie did a really good job of doing that, you know, just making you remember the original, uh, trilogy, which is really cool. <clears throat> now, moving on, um... I think I've pretty much got my whole general idea 
Um, visual effects, it was very stunning. I loved it. I think the Millennium Falcon and the TIE Fighter scenes are the best example of all that. And maybe even the you know, final scenes as well with, um, <clears throat> with the uh, Resistance. And I think that that was really cool, too. But all the all the scenes with the ships, um, you know, were really great. I feel like they just did those really well. Especially the Millennium Falcon. I think that that was a really good thing. You know, the, the scene where they steal the Millennium Falcon from the junkyard. And they use it to <clears throat> do the big flying scenes. So I think that was really great. Um, apparently, the film is supposed to be really great with IMAX 3D and regular 3D. Especially IMAX. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry about that. So, if you go see it in IMAX, I expect that you guys are really going to have a fun time. Now, on to highlights of the film. Okay, so on to highlights. I actually kind of choked there, so I needed some water. I had to go get that real quick. But, on to highlights. I think that there's a many, like, really big highlights of this film. Um, you know, there's really big things. This is where I'm going to get really big in spoilers, so if you guys don't want to hear that, like I said, just turn away. But, big things are Kylo Ren. Um, you know, there's a lot of things with him. Uh, especially him being the son of Leia and Han Solo. So him being Ben Solo, um, and then, you know, turning to the dark side, turning into Kylo Ren. There's a lot of big plot holes involving this whole story, <clears throat> especially with questions that haven't been answered yet, um, like Finn's, you know, drive to change. You know, Finn's, you know, wanting to get away from the First Order, which is a big, which is a big thing in this movie, the First Order. So with him doing that, there's that question cannot be answered at this time and probably won't be answered. Um... Just because they're trying to go through this film. So I feel like there's a lot of questions that haven't been answered. Which is okay, because it's tur still turned out to be a really big film. But there's a lot of plot holes. So it's a big thing with that. But again, Kylo Ren, Ben Solo, you know, does a really big moment when Han Solo, R.I.P., um, died. Now, I'm not really sure. He is dead. But weren't they discussing a Han Solo film? Is that a prequel? I don't know. I'm not really sure. I haven't dived into the Star Wars news recently, so... Is the Han Solo film supposed to be a prequel because he's dead now? So what's going on with that? Or is there not going to be one now? So if you guys know, comment down below because I have no idea. I might look it up later. But there was supposed to be... There was talks, I guess, for one. But I don't remember if that was supposed to be present day of what was going on. Or <clears throat> maybe a prequel. I'm not really sure. But, you know, I don't know. So comment down below what you guys, you know, have heard. I'm not really sure. So just comment. I really want to know. But basically, a big highlight, R.I.P. Han Solo... You know, he, he, you know, put his hands forth to, to Ben Solo, and it didn't work out as well, and <clears throat> it was really just that big moment. And I feel like that with Rey was also a big moment. You know, we we heard earlier in the film, <clears throat> Han Solo is kind of like a father figure, like a father she's never had. So I feel like that was just a big scene with her, which I like. I wish they would have played on to it a little bit more with Han Solo, like, make it even more compelling with her and Rey before he died, but it's still okay, but I wish they would have done more, so <clears throat> it's a big thing. I am really choking today. It's crazy. Um, another thing, some other highlights, you know, there's obviously big ones. The Force with Rey, you know, her, her, her lightsaber battle with Kylo Ren, um, <clears throat> A lot of others as well. I can't think of all of them right off the top of my head. But there's a lot of highlights of this film. I think that it's just really cool. I think that the, the new characters are going to be really great. Like I said, they're setting up that story. And I feel like that's going to be a really great thing. So every scene with Finn and, and, and Rey, the lightsaber battles, everything like that, Kylo Ren stuff, all of it was really great. Now, another thing is, why is Kylo Ren so afraid of not being to live up to the potential of Darth Vader. That's another question that hasn't been answered. If he can use the Force to stop a blast in mid-air and just walk around, not even holding it the whole time, just walk around whenever he wants, why is he so afraid of power and not being as powerful as Darth Vader? Because I feel like he was really big, you know, villain. I feel like he was a really big menacing villain for this story. So why is, you know, he still afraid of not living up to Darth Vader's potential? We have no idea. But I'm sure maybe it might be answered. Maybe it won't. We're not really sure. Um, the planet did blow up. But Kylo Ren, if you guys remember the general, um, or the admiral, I can't remember what, is, what he was. He was an admiral, right? I think he was. But the Supreme Master told him to go get Kylo Ren. So that meaning that he's probably not dead. They probably escaped. You know, they probably, all the people that needed to escape, like Kylo, Kylo Ren for the story, probably did escape. And we just didn't see it. So I feel like Kylo, Kylo Ren is not dead. Um, he is going to probably come back in the story later on. Um, don't, don't suspect someone is dead unless it's like totally confirmed, see body dead, 
because he was still, you know, alive when Ray left. So just remember that when the, when the Earth, you know, then the planet started to split. So that was a really big thing as well. Um, <clears throat> I think I've talked about all the highlights, you know, Chewbacca stuff like that. Really great stuff. Um, C-3PO, R2-D2, that was a lot of big highlights, I'm not gonna get too much into that. There was an easter egg that I did hear, um, I didn't see all the easter eggs, apparently there's, uh, you know, a, a quite a few, I didn't see all of them, but, if you remember the trash compactor easter egg, where Han Solo talks about the trash compactor, and if they can throw the general into a trash compactor, that was like, you know, the trash compactor scene in, uh, Star Wars, that was a big deal as well, I feel like that was really great, so, that's one of the easter eggs that I did hear, uh, in the movie. But overall, this movie was really great. Like I said, families and Star Wars fans will come together to see this. I think that's why the Star Wars movies will live on and why they did a good job of showing it. So, comment down below if you guys agree. Did you like my review? And comment down below, did you like the movie or not? Uh, links up there to my other uh, movie reviews. Links in there to my Twitter, Instagram, Vine, and vlog channel. Don't forget to follow and subscribe to those. Other than that, like it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.